Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to be doing an installation of the GTX 660 Ti by ASUS that's the NVIDIA product uh, into my case uh, for those who have missed my unboxing you can click on the link here and that will lead you to the page where you can see the unboxing for those who are not interested, I've seen that already. We're going to proceed with the installation of the graphics card. Now, I'm going to do a couple videos. In this video, I'm going to be doing just the installation of this graphics card in the case. And that's it, basically. Next video I'm going to upload is going to be about the some performance benchmarks of the specific gra graphics card in my current setup. So, if you're interested into that, you can click on the link right here and that will lead you to that. So let's get started. I have removed the power cables from my two hard drives, Western Digital hard drives. Now once I have the case open, I can do this as well, which is clean off the dust a little bit. Especially off here because that's where the graphics card is going to go. Okay, so a little bit of cleaning there. Now, I will actually have to remove the top of the case because I only have one connector for the PCI Express, which is for my graphics card. Now, the graphics card is going to go in like so. I could put a little thingy there that would support the graphics card, but that's not really necessary. Actually, if I to release this side, see it already holds on to it, so that's kind of okay already. Um, okay, so I'll get a screwdriver and start opening everything. Now, just quickly as a test whether it will fit properly, since I have made my adjustments here so I can put it in. I'm going to actually try to slot it in into the PCI Express slot, the one closest to the CPU. I think I had it right. Just going to go in and push it in. That's it. I can feel the clip over there already holding on to it so what do you know it actually isn't touching this but if you to force it down there's about two millimeter gap there it would actually touch that I can see now why the cooler is raised so because if you actually have the pad supporting there which I do you can put it there and the graphics card would sit onto it maybe we'll try that a bit later for the moment I'm going to secure the two screws here to hold the, the GPU or the graphics card properly and I'm going to proceed off the installation of another PCI Express connector and I'll see you in a sec. So the graphics card is secured and everything properly done. Now I'm going to be removing this PCI Express cable and installing maybe something else or actually do you know what? There's another PCI Express. I completely forgot guys, that's a bummer, a bit of a fail moment because I already had the cables ready. Well, do you know, I, al I always had them hanging there so I'm just going to do some cable management so I suppose it will be easier for me since everything is accessible. And while I'm here guys, one thing to say about this case, I dislike that I have to keep opening the top so I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six screws and the other panel as well from the other side in order to access my cables properly. Now I could actually twist the case and see it and da da da. But to do a proper case manage, uh, cable management in the case I have to remove the top and it's really a bummer. Anyway, the bigger bummer is me because there was already two connectors there that are plugged into the via a single cable I think into the PSU 
So what do you know? I'll see you guys in a sec when I have my cable management done. Okay, so there we have it. Um, this is the hard drive cable, cable for hard drives I should say, power cable for hard drives. These are the two PCI Expresses for the graphics cards that I already had and that I have forgotten about. This is the just the cable management thingy which is just a velcro tie, cable tie that came with the case. It's really handy and it looks pretty cool. I know the colors are different because there's a black and red and black and red here and black and red here and RAM and everything and we have blue, blue, blue. But guys, please remember that this case is always closed and it's all about the performance and not about the looks. However, I must say it doesn't look too bad. So, agree to disagree. Yep, so I'm gonna close everything up, just gonna do a few shots inside, maybe with a brighter lens so you could see better. And we're gonna conclude this video. Okay guys, so installation complete and that's more or less how it looks like. So overall I'm very happy with the way it looks. It's a really decent uh, looking GPU by ASUS. Now as you see right there, sorry for the blurry fingers, there isn't... I have a little spacer for this case to actually kind of touch the graphics card but it's not anywhere nearly as high as it should be maybe. So I think the graphics card would be left the way it is. Maybe I'm gonna clip some sort of thingy over to the heat pipe over here and to the top. So it would take out the stress off the motherboard, maybe not because I don't transfer the PC with me anywhere I go. I don't go to LAN parties and it basically stays still, so I think it should be okay. Mm, what else there? Yep, guys, actually that's pretty much it. The, in the next video I'm going to be doing a quick review of the performance. So if you want, just follow up there. And thanks for watching. Click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, you can leave them at the comment section down below. And have a nice day.